We continue on our special MSG Networks press conference for the New York Rangers, naming Jacob Truba the 28th captain in franchise history. We welcome in from the MSG Training Center, the man of the hour, Jacob Truba. Congratulations, Jacob. Uh, I'm sure the specter of actually wearing the sweater with the C uh, on the chest is, is probably very special. Uh, everybody defines being a captain differently and uniquely. How do you do it? Uh, I think it's all about relationships and trust and, I mean, humility. There's, I mean, you could go a lot of one, one words, but uh, having uh, genuine care for, for your teammates and the people in the organization and the people in the locker room, I mean, that's, uh, that's really what I think makes, makes a good leader and someone that uh, people can follow on the ice, follow off the ice, and I mean, we, have, we have lots of good leaders and everybody's going to need to continue to do their job. Jacob, going back to last season, before the season began, or mid-season, going into playoffs, did you think about this as a possibility a lot? Was it on your radar? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely something I thought a lot about, as, even as a kid. Growing up, I think uh, leadership's always something I've tried to uh, keep developing and, and learn different ways, meet with, with new people, and try to keep those, uh, those relationships open to, to continue learning. Um, when I first got here, I thought it was pretty clear to me Hank was Hank was the captain of this team, and as Hank uh, moved on, someone needed to step up and, and take that that role. And like I said, we have a, a lot of good leaders, but uh, I think to to have a real competitive, solid team, this is a a good step for for organization to take. And I'm obviously grateful and honored that uh, they chose me. We had mentioned a little bit earlier your moment after game four when you lost 7-2 to the Penguins. You decided to call a players-only meeting with the team down three games to one in that first round. What was the message you most wanted to send and, and why was it so vital to do it at that time? Uh, I just felt, I mean, it was such a, such a bad loss. I think we, uh, we were kind of beating ourselves up a bit and when you're in a playoff series, it's, uh, you don't really have the time to do it. And honestly, when the game's over, it doesn't matter if you lose one nothing or 8-1 or, or whatever the score was. It's, uh, that game's over and you got to move on to the next game. So it was more of just talking and trying to hit the reset button. And I thought we were all on the same page of, look, we can go home and win game five and come back here and just figure out a way to win a game six. And if we do that, no one can tell you what's going to happen in a game seven. And lucky, I don't know if I'll say lucky, fortunate for us, that's, uh, that's how it unfolded. And Obviously, Brad had a pretty, pretty nice OT winner and a pretty good memory for all of us. Uh, well, speaking of memories, I have great memories of being Team DJ. I think it's very important the captain <laughs> lays those lines right away. Now, are you willing to make a change from last year's DJ? And second part question is, who do you lean on in locker room to set up team parties? Halloween being most important. Um, I would say I had the DJ role for a bit last year. I think I got a little repetitive with my music. I don't know if I listen to the most loved music by everyone, but uh, Goody, Goody does a good job taking over for that. And uh, it's a pretty open DJ booth. If anybody wants to play a song, they're, they're pretty welcome to play it. Um, <laughs> as for parties, um, that's, that's a pretty big group effort too. I mean, it's hard to, to set something up here, as you know, obviously, with guys living all over the place. but. Uh, I think Revo did, a, did an excellent job helping with that. I helped out with it. Um, a lot of different guys take, take different, uh, different responsibilities. We had different guys run fantasy football, run master's pool, all the, all the fun <laughs> stuff. We, have, uh, we divided it up pretty, pretty good. That's a great peek into the esoteric elements of being a captain. <laughs> the part that we are clearly, uh, that is noticeable from almost a day-to-day -day basis is the impact you had on two youngsters in particular, your defense partner, Keandre Miller, and Braden Schneider, who earned the nickname Little Troobs. Uh, where specifically do you think you were most helpful in their development? Uh, I mean, when I, when I kind of went on this, uh this journey of wanting to, to take on this role. I wanted to start with the D and build my relationship with the defensemen and show them I care about them and I want to help them. And that was something I was fortunate enough to have when I was a young player. I, Zach Bogosian opened his home to me uh, my first year. And I mean, we're still best friends, but guys don't have to do that. I was talking to him yesterday and like, he didn't have to do that for me and look out for me that first year and I mean, even past the first year, but um, yeah, just just having those guys because it's a uh, it's a big adjustment. It's a big change in not just hockey, but life off the ice and lifestyle and all of that. And it's uh, it's not easy for everyone. It takes some guys more time than others. And 
just knowing that they have someone they, they can lean on and actually care about them and want the best for them in, in their career, I think is uh, was something that was huge for me and I wanted to provide that to all of them. Final question, of the many responsibilities of a captain, uh, the captain accepts the Stanley Cup from the commissioner when his team wins. When do you start to allow yourself to fantasize about that? Uh, I think that's something we'll think about more when uh, the opportunity gets closer and hopefully that's, uh, that is close. So <laughs> I'm not, I got no answer for you right now. <laughs> that's fair, it is August. Congratulations, Jacob, all the best. And we will see you in two months and two days for the opener at Madison Square Garden. Sounds good, thank you guys. Captain of the